I'm convinced that a, a true synthesis would explain the revolution as a process, just as Adam suggested, but would also be informed by a longer term vision than his and comparative contexts that he lacked. It would, in the end, discard historiography, theory, and models as scaffolding essential to build, but obscuring rather than supporting a new structure. It would not go toe to toe, innuendo versus innuendo, caricature versus caricature, and exclude whole ranges of scholarship as the historiographic combatants over the revolution have often done. It would see politics as embedded in society, emerging from culture and law, affecting and affected by the environment, informed by ideology, and reflecting the personal and self-interested perspectives of actors who were ignorant of the vast historical stage on which they performed their roles with scripts, but not the scripts, lines, but not the only possible lines, plots that were contingent on dramatic performances that had no single author and no set foreseeable outcome, but seemingly limitless meanings that can be constructed in retrospect. Meanings embedded in our language as much as in theirs. You do, of course, of course, realize that when we say violence in this conference, we haven't all meant the same thing. You realize that when we've used the word ideology, we have not all meant the same thing. We haven't begun to talk about that, but the meanings of those two terms, to pick two of the two of the ones that seem to me to emerge as important for us to discuss reflects the fact that we probably should talk more about what exactly it is that we're talking about. 